Uh, my then co-host Jade and I made an episode of Typically Tuesdays about Full Metal Alchemist, which is this Japanese comic series uh, from like the early 2000s. Um, and it was like a deep dive show. We were talking about the themes, talking about uh, some of the slightly cursory research that we um, did on it. And uh, another member of the radio station who had tuned into the program ended up sending us uh, a meme um, about uh, the Full Metal Alchemist anime. And I thought that was really funny. Um, one, but it was also really cool because uh, I learned that uh, one of our listeners, who was also, you know, happens to be a member of, uh, of the community, of the CJSF community, um, also uh, liked Full Metal Alchemist. That was really cool. I think a lot of the times community in the context of community radio is sort of like having a conversation uh, with your neighbor. Um, and I mean that pretty literally. Um, it's just that it's through the airwaves and the person who's on the whichever side of the radio relationship that you're in, whether that person is a host or a listener, um, they live in your same area code. They're affected by a lot of the same issues that you might be affected by. Maybe they're uh, experiencing a lot of the same global trends as you are. It's kind of like that sharing of time and space and context that brings people together and creates this kind of collective, kind of community, kind of neighborly relationship. <laughs> Obviously, as a volunteer at the radio station, I'm legitimately investing time and energy into this organization every week. And in that sense, I feel quite invested to make sure that, you know, my output is creating results <laughs> in that way, not to sound all businessy. But um, as a citizen of the world, I feel that I'm very invested in CJSF because I think it's just so important for there to be uh, independent grassroots media that can reach the ears and eyes of audiences that are looking for something you know pretty alternative uh, to what other most other options that they have available to them in Canada or really anywhere and I find that at CJSF um, that's really exciting to be a part of because I think it's kind of in a bit of the response that I gave earlier about what the com community part of community radio means. It means that anyone who's participating in CJSF's programming, in CJSF as an organization, those are all people who are immediately a part of your community. They're, they are legitimately your neighbors. Um, they're not just uh they're not like an influencer online they're not some celebrity they're like your regular average everyday joe and i think that's really cool but that also means that the voices and opinions and stories of the members of our community are valued <laughs> So I conjured this image in my head of a person hanging out with their pet, uh, who is their best friend, and they are able to be playful with this uh, creature, they are taking care of it, they know that uh, to some extent the creature also takes care of them in like an emotional way as well. They're able to confide to the creature about um, their deepest secrets or um, their strange ideas. And I guess to, to that extent, um, that's kind of what I feel like the listener of uh, Typically Tuesdays is sort of like. 
you know, in that sense where I'm able to be myself on air, be playful, be silly, be maybe sometimes apathetic and just kind of like whatever and to, in other ways as well to open up about problems that I've been having or sensitive thoughts that I've been having to be able to like share knowledge and things like that and the listener is receptive in the sense that they're hearing what I'm saying I think that's kind of in my mind what a listener typically Tuesdays is being like radio's best friend sort of is <laughs> Oh, <laughs>